Hey, this is Neighbor Argetsy, and bringing you some of the best comics that you might not know yet, but you're about to get to know them. What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? Y'all make some noise. There we go. There we go, man. Glad to be here, man. Glad y'all came out here tonight, man. I'm going to let you know something, man. Um, the nation is going through uh, a big change. You know, like every city, like they're revitalizing all the downtown areas. And uh, we're losing, like, a lot of... The, the old stuff that makes cities great, but we're getting some new stuff too. Like the other day, my homegirl invited me over to this private bar that we have in town. So we went to the bar, we're drinking, we're having food, we're having a good time. I'm like, I like this place. And she's like, yeah, this is cool, you should get a membership. And I'm like, oh, how much is a membership? She's like, oh, about three, four thousand dollars. I'm like, oh, I don't have that. <laughs> she's like, oh, you don't have to worry about it. You can just talk to your accountant and write it off on your taxes. And I'm like, yeah, I'll go home and see what TurboTax thinks about this. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see what HNLBlock.com thinks about this situation. I, don't <laughs> I do not have an accountant. I'm not even in a tax bracket. I'm just in the parentheses at the bottom. <laughs> do my taxes in 10 minutes. You do my taxes. <laughs> Crime is getting out of control, y'all. Crime is getting out of control. I got Rob coming out of the grocery store the other day. I'm walking out the grocery store. I got all my bags with me. I'm walking out. As soon as I get to the parking lot, a guy walks up, puts a pistol right in my face. I knew what it was. I've been in this situation before. I reached in, grabbed my wallet, gave it to him. He looked at my wallet, threw it across the parking lot. He's like, I don't want this. I'm like, what do you want? He's like, sucker, I want the eggs. <laughs> I'm like, you want my eggs? I reached in my bag. I got ready to pull them out. And then I saw the price tag on them. I was like, Nah, you're going to kill me, man. I think uh, <laughs> I'm not giving up my eggs. <laughs> not doing it. <laughs> Used to work in education, y'all. Used to work in education. I had to get out of that. Uh, you know, just for the simple fact that it was starting to make me racist against my own people. <laughs> and I see some of y'all looking at me like, brother, who are your people? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I saw y'all when I came up here. Y'all like, that brother looks like all of them. <laughs> I'm not going to try to guess his nationality. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> it's okay, y'all. It's okay, y'all. Just a light-skinned black guy, y'all. It's a light-skinned black guy. Yeah. I'm like crouching tiger, hidden negro. <laughs> got to keep it out. You got to keep it out. <laughs> it was tough, man, working in that job, man. Because I ain't looking like this. It made it tough because I worked around high school kids. And any of y'all know, if any of y'all got high school kids or you spend time around young folks today, you know young folks are different than we were growing up. You know, like we were growing up, we knew when to be quiet. We knew when to shut up. <laughs> These kids, they don't. They're like, if it comes in their brain, they will say anything. You know, like one day I was, uh, I was talking to another teacher one day and we're sitting over there trying to figure something out. And then out of nowhere, a kid stands up in the back of the class and yells out, hey, uh, excuse me, man. Anybody ever told you that you look like Abraham Lincoln and the rapper Drake had a baby? <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> you know, he's like, no, yeah, I'm just saying, you look like Drake Abraham Lincoln. I don't know if anybody ever told you. I, I just, <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> he's like, no, I'm just saying, you look like you freed the slaves, then you try to rap about it. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? I was like, man, you know what? I'm going to emancipate your proclamation. <laughs> I'm say anything. Tell y'all some people I don't trust. People I don't trust or weather people. I don't trust the weather people. And not because they get the weather wrong every now and then. Just because I've noticed that around the country, a lot of people at every news station, somebody has a weather-related name that I don't think they were born with. <laughs> you know? Yeah, they'll be sitting there, they'll be like, oh, that was a gruesome murder, Bob. Well, on a lighter note, let's kick it on over to hear about the weather. Let's talk to Henry Hurricane. <laughs> like, Henry Hurricane? He was like, this is Danny Doppler 5. You know, <laughs> this is Kenny Category 4. I was like, what is this? <laughs> Gale Force wins. Y'all know Gale? <laughs> real cool lady, real good. <laughs> Tell y'all, I got a... Uh, tell you guys this, man. Y'all, good crowd, cool crowd. Uh, I can tell you guys, uh, uh, I'm not really proud of this, but uh, I, uh, 
I participated uh, in some racist activity, y'all. Yeah. Don't like to admit it, but I did. Yeah. Me. As a white black man. <laughs> I participated in the racist activity, but it wasn't my fault. It wasn't my fault. It was the school system's fault. Because here, uh, I grew up here in Nashville, Tennessee, and anybody knows, if you grew up here in Nashville, Tennessee, there was a field trip that everybody took. And this field trip was to the Hermitage Plantation, all right? And now, if anybody doesn't know, the Hermitage Plantation was our former president, Andrew Jackson's plantation home that he lived in when he lived here in Tennessee. And so this plantation has everything that a normal plantation has, you know? They got the little house with the big white columns, you know? They've got the well you can get water from. Um, they got a souvenir shop, you know? Yeah. It wasn't there then, but it's there now. Uh, <laughs> and then we got over there to the field. We get over there to this field, and we, got to, we walk up there to it, and the tour guide's telling us all about it. She's like, hey, guys, want to let you guys know that what, once was, what grows in this clear field right here was once Tennessee's cash crop. And I'm going to let you guys know today, if anybody here would like to pick a souvenir, feel free to pick you a souvenir. Yeah, so that day, me and some of my black friends picked some cotton. Yeah. <laughs> it was not my best day. I didn't know any better. I was in the third grade. I kept it in my lunchbox for the rest of the year. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was like, hey, look at that. Look what I got. I was like, they're like, what is that? You got cotton in your lunchbox? <laughs> and, <laughs> and then my teacher, she didn't make it any better, you know, because she saw us doing it. And she walked over, and she was like, oh, my goodness, you guys are naturals. <laughs> <laughs> Have y'all done this before? I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> And then she saw me doing it. She was like, you know what? Hey, you know what? You're a little lighter than your friends. You want to come inside? Why don't you come on inside? I was like, lady, get your hand off me. Hey, y'all, that's my time, y'all. My name's Bernard Hurst. Thank you guys so much. <laughs>